สวัสดีค่ะคุณอัตมาสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับสวัสดีครับ Yeah, we really glad to have you here because like. The topic today is start because a lot of people keep talking about the side point to early of election in Thailand. So, <clears throat> so um, did you choose this time to launch your new party because you saw this side also that the parliament could be dissolved very soon? Uh, well, uh, <laughs> not quite that. Actually, uh, since I myself and my friends, my colleagues, k u t s o n t i r a t and actually uh, others, uh, when I mentioned Dr. s u m i t Dr. k o p s a k we left the government uh, from our positions, oh, a little bit over a year and a half, and uh, since then we have been able to meet with uh, uh, different people you know, from several uh, walks of life mm-hmm. and. One common theme that we have found uh, uh, reflected in our conversations with them is that uh, they would like to see sort of a new alternative for um, a political party that would be able to work for the people to move the country forward, and you know, and that. Uh, Has gotten us sort of thinking whether mm. we can still work for the country. Uh, mm. We still have interest because we were there before, you know, in our positions, and that's really where the new party, uh, the idea for a new party, came from. As mm. to the election, now that's uh, up to anybody's guess right now uh, <laughs> when that might be. Mm. Okay. Talk about the on stage on that day on launch event. You said that you would not be too far left and not too extreme right. Does right. this mean you will be in the middle? And what does the word "the middle" mean for you? Uh, the word "in the middle" for us means that we would focus on what we are presenting. To the people, which is to tackle mm. the economic problems, mm. the issues facing the Thai people right now, and also uh, to contribute to the building of a new future, hopes for the country, and mm. in doing so, we do not want to be a part of any political conflict. Or otherwise, meaning, as we all know today, so to speak, there is the right side, so-called the left side, where they hold different mm-hmm. and often conflicting political ideologies. Mm-hmm. We would not want to be a part of that because we want to focus on tackling the urgent problems. Of the country, and also to work with people to move the country forward, and that is what really is what we really mean by being in the middle. Mm. I see. So another thing that you mentioned on the stage that you're not going to support General b u t a n o s h a to be a prime minister again. So. Um, for this sentence, for this statement, like may I ask what reason you have? Um, the reason to say that General Bayu San Osha should not be longer be a prime minister. Well, you know, uh, we are a new political party, s a n g a n a k o t a i and uh, among ourselves, you know, the founders and our friends and colleagues. Uh, We believe that in working for the people, in presenting ourselves and our policies to the people, we should be able to identify and have mm-hmm. ready our own candidates for becoming the leader of the government, uh, i.e., the prime minister. For that mm-hmm. reason, the potential candidates should come within the party. 
itself and not from outside the party. So in that sense, General Prayuth, who has nothing to do with the setting up of Sang mm -hmm. and Akhot Thai, mm -hmm. uh, would not then be uh, sort of considered as one of our candidates. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> as a former Minister of Finance and Industry, a lot of people said like, during you are the Minister of Finance, a lot of policy cannot go to the goal like for example like manda prasharat or like karang kantam minimum weight or even like the a salary for the new graduate and job policy also so and people like highlight uh, keep on eyes a lot about what going to happen when you have your own party what you will say about this well uh First of all, we all uh, went into the government and also uh, founded Palankacharat Party uh, mm. with the goal of, um, you know, working for the people with mm. some new ideas, uh, mm. uh, many of which you have already mentioned just now. Uh, and that's what we started with. And I was able to work uh, in the government, at least for the Palankacharat party for about a year and uh, we were able to accomplish a certain amount of work mm. for example to lay down the foundation for the Pracharat uh, structure mm -hmm. and also for example uh, in the bigger picture the EEC it's an economic corridor where we were able to push forward uh, some I, I, would, I, would, I would think being uh, interesting uh, initiatives, groundbreakings. Now, there are other uh, things that we did not get to accomplish, as you rightly uh, pointed out. Manda mm -hmm. uh, the tax reform, mm -hmm. and so on. Now, a couple of reasons for those, and 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 you know, I'm speaking as a as a matter of fact. Uh, mm -hmm. Back then, first is first of all, as we all know, uh, pretty common is mm -hmm. that a Thai government uh, tend to be a coalition government. Mm -hmm. Now that in itself is not a bad thing, but it can uh, present certain uh, difficulties in mm -hmm. pushing some policies, mm -hmm. especially when uh, a policy involves more than one ministry. In my case, I was at finance, right? But to be able uh, to push forward uh, Manda Basharat, mm -hmm. that would require uh, the words of other ministries as well, like the labor and so on, mm -hmm. which was not necessarily under the umbrella of mm -hmm. Palang Pacharan itself. Right. Uh, to 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 uh, to give you an example, and second is of course the time mm -hmm. that we had uh, mm -hmm. at that time, which is a bit over a year. Now, an issue like a tax reform needs mm -hmm. a lot of thinking, careful thinking. And to be able to do it, uh, as I intended at that time, comprehensively, mm. not a piecemeal solution, but a comprehensive solution so that the tax system is updated, it's fair mm -hmm. for everybody, at the same mm -hmm. time, consistent and supports um, the strategy for development of the country mm -hmm. overall. So it did take some time. Now, this time around, what mm. we would like to do is that we are presenting a new policy platform. Mm -hmm. Of course, a good deal of the new platform would be based on what we have accomplished, but mm -hmm. then it will be built on those to the next stage. Mm -hmm. The first stage was to be able to address the problems uh, of the mm -hmm. people who are, who are less fortunate you know, mm -hmm. uh, the poverty line and so on. Mm -hmm. Now, if we were to do it this time, we would be presenting to, to the people, not only that, but the next phase of Pacharat, mm -hmm. which is to be able to help people to help themselves even more, mm -hmm. to be able to help people to for their own personal development mm -hmm. so that mm -hmm. they have, for example, uh, 
uh, the appropriate skill sets for the mm. new world, the mm. digital economy, and so on. Mm. So, so there will be a new policy platform, a comprehensive mm. one, and that is what we hope uh, to be able to present, uh, uh, you know, in the coming days. Yeah, right, right. Let me ask something, um, for the short term and the middle term now, if you were still, if you were still in the cabinet, what would you like to do for the country now? Because we people just living like, oh, we have no future. What's going on now? And uh, what do you like to suggest? Well, uh, if if I were still working, mm -hmm. uh, uh, things that I would do would include first, of course, to address the the econ the economic uh, uh, condition. Uh, Right now, where mm -hmm. you know, admittedly, uh, people of all walks of life are mm -hmm. having difficulty. Uh, mm -hmm. The the SMEs, the small uh, business operators, all the way up, actually, mm -hmm. and also the consumers, for that, uh, uh, mm -hmm. you know, for this very same reason that uh, uh, the the economy uh, has been an issue, and and not the least because of COVID mm -hmm. uh, having a serious impact on various uh, sectors of our economy. So that is one thing that we, we would like to do, but we would, have, we would like to do it uh, in such a way that the measures, mm -hmm. if we were doing it, if I were doing it, would mm -hmm. more precisely address the problems. I see. In other words, mm -hmm. it would not be just on the demand side, mm -hmm. i.e. Uh, cons uh, consumption stimulus. Mm -hmm. It should be, in my view, also on the supply side. That mm -hmm. is, to be able to find the appropriate mechanisms, new mechanisms mm -hmm. that would inject funds directly mm -hmm. into the grassroots mm -hmm. level communities and also the small business operators, so nice. that when COVID sort of tapers off, which is expected, or at least on, on the positive side, right? Mm -hmm. When that happens, businesses have sufficient funding to go forward. Mm -hmm. Now, if we are only addressing the demand side, mm -hmm. providing them with liquidity through mm -hmm. initiative, which mm -hmm. uh, uh, I, I might say that I actually was a part of it, actually started it <laughs> back then. But today I think more is needed. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be communicate, communicated to the people right now so that mm -hmm. they can see where we're heading. Second, mm -hmm. I believe that it's necessary right mm -hmm. now mm -hmm. to address the issue of investments for the future. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What would Thailand need so that our people, our younger generations, can have opportunities mm -hmm. that they deserve as the world you know, moves on mm -hmm. very quickly, uh, in particular with respect to technology? Now, people are a bit saying, look, our children are graduating. Would they have decent jobs? Mm -hmm. The first jobbers might be wondering, mm -hmm. hey, look, are we are we thinking about new jobs now? If so, where are they? And so mm -hmm. on and so forth, right? Mm -hmm. So there need to be, in my view, new investments, new initiatives to move Thailand forward. So twofold. First, addressing the immediate difficulty with respect to the economy. Second, starting to think about the future. And third, communicate all of these to the people clearly now so that there is hope mm -hmm. so that people can see where we headed. Mm -hmm. Now if I may add the fourth, it's actually mm -hmm. politics. Mm -hmm. yes. All of these, the first three could not, in my view, happen without a stable, sort of a stable and um, 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 uh, political climate mm -hmm. that would allow mm -hmm. us to do the work. Mm -hmm. Anyway, did you got the name in English yet? Thai Sang Thai 
what should I call in English for your party? Oh, uh, in English, um, you know, tell you the truth, uh, to be honest <laughs> about it. We, we, we're working on that. So at the moment, uh, we use the Thai name, San okay. and I Thai, but that might very well be an English name for our party uh, coming up. Yeah. So even right now, the government didn't fix the schedule for re-election yet, but mm. A lot of party like they keep like send the candidate for mm -hmm. governor or MP, and you too just launched a new party. Um, what I want to, the question is like, what is the most difficult in forming a new party at this time? Uh, very good question. Uh, <laughs> in my view, I have I have gone through these uh, exercises twice already. Uh, uh, founding a new party with with colleagues and so on, uh, mm -hmm. to me, you know, it's 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 very challenging, okay, mm -hmm. very challenging, but very rewarding at the same time. Uh, to be able to uh, launch a party that has mm -hmm. a real solid opportunity uh, mm -hmm. to work for the people, and not just becoming a party, and for this time around, Sang and Thai, uh, uh, we have been able to gather uh, people who want to mm -hmm. work who want to work for the country at this very important uh, critical juncture where we're facing you know uh, a bunch of challenges and also opportunities if we can uh, take advantage of them in the future uh, so people are very important and as we have shown uh, mm -hmm. last Wednesday we do have people those are just some of the people that have uh, volunteered to work. Uh, they come from different sectors, as mm -hmm. as as you as you saw. You know, mm -hmm. there's social, uh, economic, businesses, uh, academics, and so on. And that mm -hmm. is really our intention to do so. Mm -hmm. Some people may say that, look, oh, you didn't show enough of the traditional, you know, uh, politicians sort of mm -hmm. the stars uh, mm -hmm. to us. It depends more. It's really about people who want to work mm -hmm. right. for the country. They may come from politics. They may have had uh, a lot of political experience. But also, there are people who are new, relatively new to politics, and they're not ready to come in. You know, but they they still want to contribute. Mm -hmm. We invite those people because mm -hmm. we view. Uh, our party, Sang and Nakotai, as an open platform, mm -hmm. an open party, so that we can assemble people and work together. Because it's so important that we get the country moving at this time. We are stuck, like it or not, mm -hmm. say it or not. A lot of people feel that we are stuck and we need people to work together uh, mm -hmm. to move forward and that's that's also uh, uh, to me I found very interesting particularly this time around when the, uh, you know uh, we assemble uh, uh, all the uh, components uh, to get the new party up and running mm -hmm. okay thank you very much for today and thank you for being here I think we got more information about Sang and Aqua Thai Party and I'm still looking forward the name in English also. <laughs> yes, I owe you that one. I owe you that one. Yes, be the first don't to forget it. Promise. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much for today. Thank you. Have a good day. You too.